still not subscribed to the partition, you know, it's a lot of ways that you can do this besides watching all the content. But before we start, always remember, go to the channel's link. Every show that we have, you can always see every show before everybody else see the show. But besides that, always remember, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, put it on all. Until then, always remember, anything is possible. Thank you for choosing the partition. Now let's get into the show. Anything is possible. Peace. Welcome back to Chopping Up with Lil Ron. Today in the studio, I have a very special guest. This this man is entrepreneur 2.0, you might as well call it. I want you guys to welcome the one and only Mr. Dre Key. Yeah. That's it, right? Dre that's Key, it. that's it. That's it, man. What's good? What's good? Mm-hmm. Chopping it up with Lil Ron, baby. Let go. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was, you know, I'm I'm glad to have you on the show, man. Um, we met a, a, a while ago and then we Put it in our schedule so we can make this happen between yes, both parties. And like you promised, you showed up and you said, "Hey, man, we going I'm gonna get this done. Doesn't matter if the weather tr- weather try to knock us down, Tom man. By, yeah. Man, I'm gonna sit here and wait for you. I don't care if it's 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, man. I'm I'm gonna wait for you. But what I do is every time somebody come on the show, I always introduce them to my fans, and I always let them introduce themselves to they to my fans because apparently your fans know you and mine gone. Get to know you, and hopefully they gonna love you. Yes, so sir. introduce yourself to everybody, and we can go from there. What's good, yeah? What's good, y'all? Drake, he get old million now, Mister Nine Three Six man. I'm out of Conroe, Texas, hustling all over this thing, and music, the shoes, jewelry, clothes, whatever you wanna do, man. I got my hands on everything. They call me Black Jeff Bezos. Know what I'm talking about? So whatever you need, I got it. Whatever you need, that come. Yep. Man, you know something? You said something that caught my attention. Yes, sir. So let's start with the tennis shoes. Yes, sir. Because, you know, I do have a show called Kicks and Tricks, and we always show the ladies Nikes and Jordans. And this. How did you get in the field of having your own tennis shoes? Wow, what's interesting, Ron, what it was, man, when uh when COVID uh, broke out, man, it was harder to get shows. You know, things got really, really limited. So I got deep into... Uh, Getting on the internet, man, and started a website called whateveryouneed.com. That's mm-hmm. whatever dash you dash need.com. And so when I got into it, man, I just saw all kind of opportunities to wrap up with different companies around the globe. You know what I'm saying? And uh just match up, match minds, match energy, match ideas. And just one interesting thing, man, I caught a dude, man, overseas, was like, well, you know, you know, Drake, he uh well, Fila and Nike and all these people. You know, Levi's, all the designers, you know, they get all their stuff overseas at these wholesale prices, man. I can Mm -hmm. put you in. So I was like, bet, bet. And it was real blessed, man. So I did get deep into it, like like Frank White, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had to go all the way to the jungle, you know what I'm talking about, to get it from the source, you know what I'm saying? But it was a fortunate thing, man. So I am able to uh, put together all kinds of designs. Again, it's the same manufacturers that do Nike shoes and... uh, Got some, uh, 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 just all the shoes out there, the Adidas and all that. So the same type of designs and stuff I'm able to manufacture the bread bag brand on them, man. So it's really exciting. I'm really fortunate to be able to do it, man. It's been a good look. Man, you know something, and, and that's branding and being independent is is something that a lot of people are actually afraid to do. Right. They're, they quick to go buy a pair of Jordans, um, Reeboks, Adidas. Yeezys, you know what I'm uh, Air about? Max, but they're afraid to rock their own brand. Because, you know, not everybody like Michael Jordan. Not everybody like Air Max. Everybody don't like Yeezys and stuff. They don't like Adidas. Some people like stuff that's different because right. everybody and their mama wears, like, pretty much the same thing in nine nine days. So, and, and then Brandon, 
when you came up with the design, what is the name of your shoes, number one? Yeah, well, the name of my company is Bread Bag Empire, man. Get the bread bag. You got to get the bread bag. You know, and it's talking about uh, not just not just monetary wealth, but health and relationships, you know, mm -hmm. all around healthy lifestyle, man, being good with yourself, being good with your people type of thing. So the bread bag, man, the emblem, man, you got a little black man running with a bag of money and money and bread falling out, and he got a bag full, but he's still running to get some more. You know what I'm talking about? So it's about going and get it, man. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're into, about doing it to the most, man, to get it, man. Get the bread bag, man. And you know, some people don't know... Some people think in order to get the bag, in order to get the bread, they think it's always illegal stuff that you have to do to get it. Right. They don't understand. It's a, it's, it's a number of things you can do. Man, you can go. I told a dude the other day, you can go inside of Sam's. You can buy your big old case of water. Matter of fact, 50 bottles of water that come inside of a, a package. You pay $4.50, probably $5 for that water. Take each one of them bottles and go. you can go on the corner what what people driving by sell each bottle for a dollar. Right. And you add that up, they don't know. Dude, you just made you just took and made your money times eighteen. You just made that money quick, fast, in a hurry. And I'm always big supportive of like the little kids that be outside on the corner, be hey, I got water, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Some people are like, oh just give them the dollar. I don't care if you're not even gonna drink it. Just give them the dollar for it, man. Cause it's going towards a good cause. And some people they don't know, man. That's that's always good, and then you always want to help your people in your community. Some people they don't like to actually help. Some people want you to buy their product, but they don't want to support you right. at the same time. And it shouldn't actually be that way. We're supposed to always help each other. We always. Some people are always looking for the handout. They want you to help them to get here, but when they get here and they have to make that sacrifice, should I take this? Or can I sacrifice and give it to this person right here? They won't do it. Right. And, and it's sad to say, but it, it, that's just how it is. It's the type of world that we actually live in. Now, besides doing the clothing brand, shoe brand that you have, what's the next type of business that you got your hands into? Oh, man. Well, you make a lot of good points, man. I'm really reaching into everything, man. Uh Boxing, rapping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. The, the boxing thing, man. Shout out Pork Chop. He fought on ESPN San Diego uh, last week, and we got my boy Victor Martinez, uh, Victor Ortiz, I'm sorry, from Martinez Boxing, man, fighting on my birthday, September 4th. Man, we're going for the championship. Oh, oh, ain't this a guy that, that, had a, that, that fought uh, Floyd Mayweather? It is the same guy, man. Not the one, I could be wrong. Please forgive me if I say this wrong, Victor. I'm not for sure. That's the one that. He hit him, and then all of a sudden, uh, Mayweather, uh, he let his guard down, and, May and Mayweather hit him. And, and That's the one, Okay, I just man. wanted to make sure I was right. Yes, sir. Mr. Victor Ortiz, yeah, man, it's going down, man. Good dude, good dude. Oh, wow. So uh, are you going to um, are you gonna, uh, bring him out? Uh, are you going to perform and bring him out? Or well, you actually, I won't be able to do it at this one. I got a big birthday bash. My birthday is on the same day. He said he got a special surprise for me that day, so we he going for the win. But I will actually be in my hometown, Conroe, Texas, with Michael 5000, Wise Fifth War Boys, youngs from the SUC for a big party up in Conroe, Texas at Southern Star Brewery out there on that day. So I won't be able to make it, but going forward, I got a couple other guys, man, besides him, uh, Darwin pay the price, man. You know, he fighting in November, man. It's going to be big. So yeah, yeah, man, they're going to be wearing the brand out there. I, they will be playing my music in the boxing videos, and I will be bringing them out. So I'm really excited about that, Ron, really so excited. So at, at the at the event that you're having in Conroe, it's going to be at a club down there? It's going to be at a... At a uh... It's actually, it's crazy. It's at a beer brewery, man. I don't know. Some of y'all, my fans might have seen me do the a big promotion at Carbock Brewery out here in Houston. Mm -hmm. We did the wrestling, with my, uh, wrestling thing out there, man. So it's the same type of setup. It's uh, outside, big live stage, and then inside the brewery, you can come sit down, drink, look through, see how the beer is made and all that good stuff. So I'm really excited about it, man. It's going to be a good look. It's gonna oh, be a wow. Good look. And, and Young Star, he's going to be there as well. Yeah, yeah. Especially by the guest. He was at the award show where you received yep. your award. Yeah. Now, to congratulations again on that content creator. Thank you. So he was another one of the honorees mm -hmm. along with yourself there, man. So he was like, yeah, Jay, I'm coming out there to your thing. 
And you know, we got a, a history people might remember her. I worked for Paid in Full Entertainment back in the day. Man, I remember that. Mad Hatter, if I'm not Mad mistaken. Mad Hatter, yes. And, and you know something? Yes. Some people, with the, with the uh, hand, with the hole in the yes, money. See, indeed. a lot of people don't know. A lot of people don't know. Let me school these youngsters. A lot of people school don't know. School them. People don't know Paul Wall, comedian there. Used to uh, be with me. They were signed to our label. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, a lot of people do not know that. Indeed, the big swingers and bows. That was us. That was us, man. Uh, it was classic, man. I got a lot of my my foot in the dough, being operations manager and hype man for the label over there. And another one of our biggest hits was a. Uh, down south with Mad Hatter, down and we south. put it. Yeah, the way I stay, so we yeah. probably ain't no talking about we youngsters, yep. slim thugs. So we was on tour, man, and did a lot of good stuff, man. So yeah, youngsters was like, yeah, man, I'm coming down there for your birthday, man. And uh, Mike White's gonna be DJing. It's a big thing. And then uh, New Life and Fifth Ward Boys got some new stuff out, man. So we got a lot of special guests coming out there. It's gonna be a good look. It's gonna be a good look. I mean, you know, it's it's a it's a lot of people. That don't understand the the origin um, of Houston culture. Yes, sir. A lot of people borrow from us and take from us, and they make money off of our culture, and they don't give it. Only one I know that I watch that actually do give back is Drake. I, right. I, I have to. No matter what album that man does, he give back to to Houston. He makes sure let people know, man, Houston in every album that he do. But a lot of them they take our stuff. And they use our stuff, and they don't even give no credit. They don't give back. They don't do nothing. We all know where grills came from. They came from down south. Town by. We already know where diamonds in your mouth came from. Town by. We already know where, where the serve and the swingers come from. Yes, sir. All that stuff comes from us. Now, you can't be driving down here with a car with switches on that. With days, we know they come from Cali. So that, <laughs> that, that's, that, that's those people's stuff that they actually have. Right. We know Timberland boots. Come from New York. It, 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 that's what they rock down there. It, 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 it's Tim's, man. They, they love Timberland Boots. So when people borrow from a, a culture and they don't pay homage and, and they don't give the, the respect, I, I don't respect people like that, man. And, and and it's good that you got Michael 5,000 Watts. Yes, sir. Then you got Youngster. You know, back in the days, people don't know. The North and the South, they couldn't do nothing together, right, man. They, they right. couldn't collab Real with each talk. other, man. And people do not understand that. That that couldn't. I think one of the first people that I think didn't um, Slim Thug and Edge and um not uh, uh, um yeah it was Edge and Slim Thug. Yeah, the brazen face, man. Yes, that broke sir. the ice. If, if I'm if I'm yes, not sir. mistaken. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. I, I remember that a lot of people that they they forget about that, man, because that that was actually from that was like a breaking point. From there, they just. Everybody just starts showing love to everybody, man, yeah. and going from there. So, in doing music, um, what made you wanted to, to like actually say, "Look, man, I'm finna start rapping. I'm finna go out here and I'm finna start doing this stuff." What made you want to do that, man? Well, well, first I want to double back because you made an excellent point about the Houston culture and what we put out there, man. You know, with everything you mentioned, man, mm -hmm. with the grills and the syrup. As well as raising a roof that was Fat Pat, man. And you see that on TV, you see it on sitcoms, they raising a the roof that was Fat Pat, that was us, man. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, the drip, man, that's the sauce walker, man. That's sauce, man. You know what I'm talking about? And everybody got drip now, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I know um, Doughboy. Yeah. I know him personally. And I remember when, when he had that TSF, and you all, you all right, uh, Sauce Walker. Is the first one because I remember seeing an interview a long time ago. He was standing outside by a car and somebody talking to him. He talking about the drip and this yeah. and that. And all of a sudden, everybody talking about a drip. Everybody was dripping after that, man. That that's Ace Time, man. You know, we really, we really made from from Beyonce to Megan the Style. You made all on Popeyes and Cover Girl. You know, you got to respect this Ace Town culture, man, because we in this thing, man, in a real way. Yeah, yeah. people don't know Ace Town is actually. You might as well say we are, and we're going to be the next. Like they got Hollywood, Houston, I'm a, Houston Wood. If you ask me, come I'm on, gonna call, I'm gonna call it Houston Wood. Come man. on, Cause I ain't gonna yeah. Because you know, you know, Houston man, we we actually man, we we do a lot, man, for a lot of people, man. Yes, sir. When the people had the the thing um, in Louisiana with the Katrina, we came together. Right. And we made it. We welcomed them here. Cause anybody from Louisiana come to Houston, we always show them love. Just as well as they show us love too. So Houston always been that that city to, to always open their arms up. We took in the most people that came from Louisiana. We right. took them in and say, man, you our you our family, man. Come on, man, y'all come down here, man, with us, man. We looked out for for people. That is how we are. 
That's that, that's that Southern love that people don't understand. Just like that. Yes, man. And back to the rapping. What made you get into rapping, man? That, that's that's some I, I really I want to know. What made you get into rapping? Well, man, it, it's deep, man. I um, you know, like a like a lot of brothers, I got the same story. You know, getting caught up in them streets, man, and doing my thing. And uh, what it was, uh, I caught up uh back when uh the group X Clan came out, and he was talking about with the keys, sissy. Man, you understand me? And so that that really awakened my. My mind to a lot of things. I was deep in the public enemy, man. And that's why I call myself Drake Key, the key to life. You know what I'm saying? That unk, man. You know, and uh, so really coming out the streets, man, I was like, I got to flip this thing, man. I got to do something positive. And the way rap was coming in and becoming so influential, I was like, you know, this is the way I can put my voice out there and use that platform to speak to the people mm -hmm. in a way they can understand and could appreciate and gravitate to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I dropped my first uh, mixtape in 91. Ooh. 91, man, actual tape, man. Uh, back then I was uh, called Lil Dre. The name of the mixtape was Public Enemy Number 2, and I went in. Wow. I went in, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, just got a great response. And back then there's no social media and whatnot, That's so right. I had to like be out there on the streets with the tapes really moving that type of Walk thing. Walk up to people and hey, man, you want to get my tape? Yep. Yeah, man, you had to have that personal that 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 people feel back then, man, in mm -hmm. a real way. And so going from that, man, there was a lot of brick and mortar stores like Sam Goodies, Camelot, uh, Hastings was big. So Soundwaves. Uh, Soundwaves, <laughs> huge, huge. You know what I'm talking about? So what I would do is just instead of trying to get a deal, I would just walk into the stores and say, look, this is what I got, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm doing, whoop de whoop. And uh, ended up doing consignment contracts yes. with each store. You know what I'm saying? Putting a, a, a certain amount of my product on the shelves and we just split the profits, man. And from now, it just grew. I was like, this is what, what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So just been in it since then, man. And just going from there, I called up to 97.9 in the box and did the roll call with Mad Hatter. And he was like, man, you're killing it, man. See what you're doing out there. Come hang out. I was like, bet. And he had just actually came down from North Carolina and started his label, Groove Makers, which turned to paid in full. Mm. You know, and so we met for the first time at his first show, man, and we just vibed, and he was like, you know what, I like your energy, man, why don't you jump on stage with me? I was like, bet, Let, let's do it. So I never met him, never heard his music, whatnot, man, but we just clicked, we just vibed, man, the crowd went crazy, the crowd went stupid, and from now he was like, yeah, man, I just want you to go on tour with me, man, and uh, just hype the crowd and do your thing, man. So that's how I got in with paid in full first as the hype, man. Then as my business acumen came into play, just went ahead and became operations manager, sitting in the office, making them calls, you know, hitting up stores, setting up stuff and whatnot. And we went on to sell a whole bunch of records. Now, Power Walk, Comedian Air, OG Run, C, Color Change and Click, yep. the Houston Hard Hitters uh, series and DVDs. And, and uh, so, yeah, man, it's been a beautiful ride, man. I'm just blessed to still be in this thing doing it, Ron. And you, and you know, too, I, I remember back in those days, when um when I think um Paul Wall and Kameen that before they split, before they right. had their differences and they actually they, they they split. I remember a lot of people don't know this, but if I'm not mistaken, they, I think they first album they got like a sauce award um for Indeed. it. A, a lot of people don't really know that. It wasn't you can't see you they didn't actually like have it where you could see it on the show. Right. I guess it's like the pre-show, but I, those boys got an award for that. A lot of people they don't really know that because I know because I I study a lot of hip hop, especially stuff that come out of Houston and stuff. Yeah, and, and it's amazing how to watch Paul Wall come in there to do things with Master P. Yeah, to actually see a lot of people that they don't they don't know that they just see like regular Paul, but they don't know Paul and come in there always was hustlers because they was they were part of a street team. Man, they was they was out there in the streets. Mean Green at, at 97.9? Man, Mean Green, man. Hold up, hold up, man. Okay, you taking me back, Jack. Yeah, you, you know, I, hey, I even go so bad when you said the roll call. I remember the tape. Yeah. See, if I say some people, they don't remember those things, man. Who, who's on the mic? You got to screw today. So I, I remember that, man. I used to have to listen to this all the time. Yes, sir. And one time, somebody called on their phone, and they, they start going off. They're like, oh, man, hold on, wait. A lot of people got discovered. By, by, by rapping on, on the actual radio, doing it on the air. Now, we come to my favorite segment. Yes, sir. This is called Leon's Top 5. And you're going to like this one. Okay. 
Leon was a cousin of mine that got killed in 18 wheeler last year. So I always dedicate this segment to him. What would be your top five artists that you listen to? It could be rap, R&B, gospel, blues, jazz, country. Who's the top five people you listen to? Wow, 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 man. That's that's a good one, man. Let me let me be clear. Uh, I got to say, me personally, I listen to a lot of Rick Ross. I listen okay. to a lot of Rick Ross because his videos and the way he paint pictures, it's, all, it's a lot about wealth, generating wealth, man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm big into that along with, uh, of course, Jay-Z. Now, you're speaking of, you said two people back to back. Come on. One of not my favorite, but one of my one of my if I had to pick four Rick Ross songs, this will have to go in there. Three Kings. Come on, man. Man, with, come on, man. With Jay Z, Rick Ross, and Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. Come on, man. Man, I still I, I when I listen to that song, man, that, that whole concept he have is good. Rick Ross is a smart man because the man got his hands into Wingstop. Right, right. You're going to have to eat. If you're going to do nothing else, person got to eat. So his hands are already into Wingstop. And then now he's going in the era with them car shows. People yeah. are going to keep the game. Once again, comes from Houston. But you see what I'm saying? He's getting them slabs, bringing them slabs right, out. Right, right. So he got, he got his hands in that. Another thing I like about um, Rick Ross I'm a big fan of his Maybach music series. Yes, sir. I'm still waiting on you, Ross, to drop the one with Bobby Womack. People don't know that. Man, oh, look. He, he got one that it was it was supposed to come out, but I think Bobby Womack, I think he passed away, mm. if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But he got one. It's, it's a track that he is yet to release, man. That's crazy. Man, man I can imagine. And, he, and he's doing the hook for that, for that song, man. He's wow, doing the that's board, big. That's yes. huge. Yes, I, I, I definitely want to actually see see that. So Rick Ross, Jay Z, man, I'll bring it back down south. I gotta say, I gotta shout out a little flip, man. Uh, in uh, in those days, in the paid in full days, you know, we was all kind of touring around. You know, rest in peace, Mo, Slim, all us was getting back to back touring around, and we have a lot of the same club days sometimes, mm -hmm. and uh. Hatter, Hatter and Jay Mac, uh, they didn't smoke, you know, and I like to smoke, so uh, ended up uh, getting in with Flip Flips, like, well, just jump in the van with me, man, we're going to the same city, man. So this is about the time when uh, he had just dropped I Can Do That. And he's like, yeah, Dre, man, I'm telling you, man, you know, the city don't really want to feel it, man, so my thing is I'm going to move around all these small towns and smaller venues oh, you talking and about get it so the, hot. Uh, the Leprechaun? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes this, sir. This is the way we ball, if I'm not mistaken. That, that was next. This is the way we ball. was on the next, next, next one. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the next one. So, yeah, I Can Do That was the first one. Yes, sir. Yeah, because that was a, that was the, the, the leprechaun, because the cover looks like the, the, the leprechaun cereal. Yes, yeah, sir. With the, yeah, the with the little leprechaun. Yes, sir. That's yes. it. That's it. Yeah, because he say I can buy bikes or something like that. I think that that gear, he he bought bikes for real. Uh, yeah. For little kids, to get, he gave them away. Yeah, and again, that's why he's one of my favorites. He got that entrepreneurial spirit, man. We actually got a song together called What the Business Is. We'll be releasing real soon. Oh, you and Flip? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna oh, be wow. hot, man. It's gonna be hot, man. He just that's just my dude, man. We did a lot of shows within and around the Houston area, man. And just that again, the artists I I like to listen to got that entrepreneurial spirit, man. They talking about getting money, talking about branching out, branding different things, man, and really moving around with it. Cause going back to what you said earlier, you know, look, the the, the street game is what it is, but all of these cats is entrepreneurs and anything is buy low, sell high, man. Mm -hmm. Just like you said with the water, man, you can use that same mentality with the drugs and shoes, clothes, music, or anything. And mm -hmm. like you say, people it's hard for people to make that transition. So I really want to be a focal point in the bridge to show people, like, look, take that same mentality, take it to the stock market, take mm -hmm. it to all these different industries because it's the same concept, buy low and sell high. You can't lose, you that's, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Lil Flip. Lil Flip. Uh, of course, I'm a group power and comedian now. Together as one, I'm trying to cheat that one group power and comedian now. Okay. You know, somebody who else, man, uh, just that really, really, really stand out. Uh, it's hard for me because I listen to a lot of different types of music. A lot of people say, uh, you know, I say that all on the on the other side. They say, well, I don't like this type of music or that. I'd be like, so you didn't hear every country song. You just don't like neither one. You know, I was jamming. 
dealing with this traffic, got to put on some Mozart, man. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Fury release some Moonlight Sonata. So I calm down. People driving crazy. You understand me? So uh, actually, I would throw Mozart in there. I would throw Beethoven in there, man, because I love that stuff. Is genius, man. It'll take you there. It'll yes. take you there, man. You know what I'm saying? Smoking on a good little run, cigar dipped in that good stuff, man. And oh, man. Back. Hey. You understand me? You know <laughs> hey. what I'm talking about? Go in that zone, baby. Hey, people don't know. Them humble twenty one cigars, man. They they think I'm blind when I tell them. I'm saying, hey, man, you get a humble twenty one cigar, man, and, and once you once you you hit it, man, you you on a you on a whole nother, nother yeah, world, man. Yeah, look, you good, baby, you good. So yeah. So now tell the people how they can find you on social media. Gotcha, man. Well, I'm like the L. I'm everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? Go to any social media platform. Dre Key Get On Millionaire. That's D R E K E Y. Get to million L. No, I'm talking about. Look out for your boy, man. You tap in, man. Got all kind of stuff going on, man. From the shoes to the to the clothes to the music, man. So tap in with your boy. I got something for you. You're going to love it. Talking about. Yes, okay. sir. I enjoyed you, and I promise you, I will bring you back so we can chop it up with some old stuff and talk some more game. And you guys remember, make sure you have YouTube, right? I got the YouTube too, same thing. Drake, he get on me. Now check out my videos, man. Yeah. Subscribe to the man's channel like you subscribe to mine, man. Show that man love like y'all show me love. Always remember, until next time, anything is possible. Thank you for choosing Chopping Double Little Run. We out. Peace. Yeah, peace.